Cranial nerve number 10 is named the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S. It is nicknamed the wandering nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest of the 12 cranial nerves and is an important part of the parasympathetic nervous system of the autonomic nervous system. Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The vagus nerve, which is cranial nerve number 10, is the longest cranial nerve in the body. The vagus nerve is nicknamed the wandering nerve. The vagus nerve is a significant part of the parasympathetic section of the autonomic nervous system, meaning that it is largely responsible for the control of involuntary bodily functions. It comprises two nerves, a left and right vagus nerve, but they are usually referred to collectively as a unit. The vagus nerve contains both motor and sensory functions in both the afferent and efferent regards. It travels widely throughout the body, transmitting nerve signals to and from the tongue, throat, heart, and gastrointestinal system. The vagus nerve has its origin in the medulla oblongata of the brain. It exits the skull via the jugular foramen. From the medulla oblongata, it travels inferior to the throat and lungs, assisting in swallowing and breathing. In the heart, it helps regulate heartbeat rate. In the tongue, it assists in controlling taste and speech. In the gastrointestinal area, the vagus nerve sends signals of hunger and fullness to the brain. It is part of the enteric nervous system. The vagus nerve helps signal the release of compounds that have a calming and relaxing effect on the body.